Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is whiteboy 7 Street here bringing you some Call of Duty Black Ops nomination ground war on the map grid and this video was titled I Heart Objective and I'm not too sure what takes place during the course of this gameplay, it's pretty old but I do know I have no regard for my own KDR whatsoever. Why is there, can you guys hear that? Oh, get drop shot at both of you. Then this cocksucking devil gypsy douchebag kills me from behind. I swear there's a team right there looking that way, but... Man. I don't know if my microphone can pick it up, but there's a chainsaw going off, and it's the middle of the city. What are you chainsawing? I hope this... This is going to be distracting me. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's going to distract me. I'm... I'm going to be a professional about this, and I'm going to commentate, 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 hmm, I'm just thinking, what would commentate mean? What's the definition of commentate? Let me know in the comment below. What does commentate mean? What's your own personal, man, fuck you, chainsaw, you cocksucking chain, Ugh, I can't, I don't know, I never, Oh, there should be a chainsaw in Black Ops. Damn it. What are you chainsawing? There's no trees over here. There's like two big ass trees and I know you're not chainsawing those. Man. Right when I try to compensate, they want to turn on the chainsaw. Okay, it's over. Yes. Anyways. That was a distracting two minutes. I wanted to talk about a message I received earlier today on my YouTube inbox and it said something along the lines and forgive me I forgot who sent it should have give you a little shout out but you know who you are that one special person out there you know who you are but they said something along the lines of what are your expectations for 2011 and they said something like I made a video about my 2000 10 expectations, but I don't recall doing that and I couldn't find it. So anyways, uh, this is going to be a two-part... Ooh. Ooh. Look at me playing the objective with no regard for my own life. So, now that this chainsaw is off, I can't concentrate. This is... Man, it just messed this whole commentary up. Fuck you. you. I can't think of something disrespectful to say to someone wheeled in the chainsaw. But then they can just cut my hand off. Or my head off, and then I can't say anything. So, pro tip of the day, don't talk shit to someone holding a chainsaw. So anyways, this is going to be a two-part series. I'm going to first, in this video, tell you guys how my 2010 went. And then, in another video, conveniently titled 2011, and I think this will be titled 2010. I'll tell you what I plan to do in the next year and what my expectations are and all that good stuff. So 2011, uh, excuse me, 2010, which is this year, started off pretty bad. I don't, I don't know if you guys know this, but my mom passed away from breast cancer on November 13th. And during the beginning of this year, not, not this year, it was in 2009 that she passed away right before uh, or right after Modern Warfare 2 was released so the beginning of this year I was just grieving uh, for the most part and it, it wasn't a good way to uh, start off the year so so that was that happened and uh, so I, I started playing Call of Duty pretty much religiously to you know get away and uh, be White Boy 7th Street, not so much be Alex, just be White Boy 7th Street and everybody has a private world where they can be alone, whoa, whoa. Are you calling me? Are you trying to get through? Are you reaching out for me? I'm reaching out for you. That's Eminem's song uh, titled Beautiful. I'm absolutely loving that song. I know every single word of that song. I love it, I love it. It's on the Recovery? No, no, no. Relapse? Relapse album? 
great song. Highly recommend it. So, actually, I got another quote from that song. Uh, Nobody asks for life to deal us what these fucking bullshit hands were dealt. We gotta take these cards ourselves and flip them. Don't expect no help. Now, I could have just either sat on my ass and pissed and moan or take the situation which I was placed in and get up and get my own. That's really how how I feel. You know, I was in a really bad situation, but I, I made the most of it. And I, I uh, you know, started playing Call of Duty and really got into this YouTube thing. And it just, it just was amazing. Like, all the support I've been getting from you guys, I really do appreciate it. And it, it means the world to me. So, thanks for all the support. And, uh, you know, I started uh, making YouTube videos pretty much religiously, uh, starting from Modern Warfare 2. I got a bunch, a bunch of support, and uh, shortly after, like February or January or March, one of those months, in the beginning of the year, Machinima contacted me and said, do you want to make videos for us? And that was probably the best uh, moment of 2010 when I got that message. If you guys are directors or if you're press, Prospective, prospective, prosperous. No. If your if your intent is becoming a machinima director, what's the correct word in that situation? Pros, prosperous, prosperous directors. I don't know. Anyways, uh, it, it's such a great feeling. You, you see machinima respawn send you a message to, to your YouTube channel. It was so great. I just had a big smile on my face. And I wasn't one of the first directors, but I was like the top or first 35 or so. So that, that meant a lot to me, and it was a great, great moment. And so that happened, and I, I started posting in the heyday of Modern Warfare 2 when there wasn't so many directors, and like each Machinima post would get you like 200,000 views, 100,000 views. And that helped my channel a lot. I would not be where I am today without your guys' support and the help of uh, Respawn. So so I, I just started blowing up uh, since Modern Warfare 2 came out and it's it's a great feeling because this is like my first job kind of. I don't take it as a job but I get income from it so I don't know you can kind of classify it as a job. I know other commentators say it that like it's their job but it's not my my job it's just a hobby that I do and I love it and I get paid for it so you know I want to keep that that sent uh, mindset that it's for fun but you do get paid for it and I'm, I'm not in it exclusively for the money I don't wake up and say oh I gotta get a video done so I can make some money no it's not like that for me so so I love I love that I can get paid because it's the first time I ever had any kind of job or any kind of income uh, for for myself. You know, doing something uh, by my own and you know working. So it it is kind of a job, I guess you can consider it. But it's a, a unique experience, and I'm I'm loving it. So I know I've been talking a lot about YouTube this year because that's been a big part of my my year. YouTube, you know, I've been working really hard, and uh, you know, th this is the first thing I really set my mind to 125%, 110%, whatever you want to say. Now I really, I was really motivated to making uh, something of myself and I wouldn't ever have imagined that uh, back in the beginning of the year that I would see my videos, you know, top 25 rated today and, you know, on the YouTube homepage and all that. It's, it really is uh, mind blowing and it, I guess if you work hard, anything is possible. I know it sounds corny, but it, it, it can happen. So, yeah, this gameplay is over. What should I do? I, I kind of want to talk for a little bit more, so I'll put some bonus footage or something at the end of uh, this gameplay. So, yeah, uh, uh, like, it started off really bad. I r really didn't have any fun besides playing games and uploading videos. Uh, I had to do a lot of paperwork a lot of bullshit uh my dad also passed away it was like two two years ago and his estate just got settled earlier this year and do 
mess with all the lawyers and all that hassle and all that nonsense. So that was kind of stressful. And then I had to clean uh, this house. I don't know if you guys uh, watch my second channel page, White Boy 7th Street 2, but I had to rearrange everything because it was all my mom's stuff. And I didn't want to throw it away, but I wanted to make my house, you know, my own and make it how I want it. That's why I got that keyboard on the wall. I don't know if you guys seen it, but it was a really big transformation. I had to move a lot, a lot of things. The attic is right now, it's completely full. I had to paint almost every room and just do a lot of work, clean the basement, which was hard. And uh, it started off like a lot of paperwork and a lot of just bullshit. And it wasn't, you know, it wasn't a good thing. I didn't like it. Like I was trying to, you know, uh, grieve and stuff and then they just reminder after reminder oh you gotta do this paperwork and then every time they would say anything about my mom I would get you know sad like when I was with a lawyer or with at the bank or anything like that I was like man this, I don't like this but after that uh, after all that I uh, got situated and uh, you know YouTube started up and now I'm one of the biggest commentators uh, right now I'm top 10 in terms of uh, black ops in uh, views and in uh, subscribers gained so that's that's a lot that's uh it's amazing and i'm like i think it's 740th most uh, subscribed which is it's absolutely insane i would never th have thought that i would get this big you know this fast it's it, it's pretty crazy so i can't thank you guys enough 2011 is hopefully it's a good year i i really i got a, a lot of big plans i'll elaborate more in the next video but this year started off bad actually like the last two years been really bad and like the last half of this year has been really really good thanks to you guys and thanks to machinima it's a it's almost a dream come true you know i wanted to be a big youtuber when i when i first started this and it feels good that you know my work's paying off and I'm being successful and people enjoy my content I can use my creativity to to give you guys good content and give you guys a, something to you know watch each and every day and something to I don't know maybe my videos help you get away from you know whatever bad things you have in your life like video games uh, was my uh, form to get away and step off uh, a little bit from reality so yeah it's a uh, it's been a good it's been a roller coaster and uh, YouTube's looking really prosperous for me and there's a lot of uh, a lot of excitement in me and I just love being a part of this community and it's it's a great feeling and it really is that you work hard and I uh then people enjoy my content it, it's great just all the support and all the feedback you guys give me all the messages I receive it, it really makes me happy and and yeah so I think that's all I got to say about that uh thanks for watching again thanks for all the support thanks for all the feedback just just thanks for watching my videos and putting up with all my dick sucking gypsy jokes and that's what she says and all that silliness that I <laughs> that I say on a day-to-day -day basis, I I really appreciate you guys and I can't thank you enough. So so yeah, 2011. Hopefully it's a good year and I'll elaborate a little bit more on it in a future video. I'm gonna get to playing some Black Ops and have a good day. Bye. Thanks for watching. You didn't think I would just leave you guys hanging like that. Since I got a few more minutes, I can elaborate further on my 2010 and this gameplay. It was titled 19 to 93 Comeback, same map, so I guess I'm playing the objective again and we pull off the comeback victory. Uh, but 2011, or 2010, excuse me, I started listening to Eminem religiously. Like, I knew some of his hits, but I never listened to an Eminem album. And he's crazy, he's funny, and you know, I can relate to Eminem a lot, and he just, he got me through some things too, and I really enjoy Eminem. He's probably one of my top three 
uh, favorite people. You know, Conan O'Brien's up there, Eminem, and probably Adam Sandler. They're uh, some outstanding citizens. So enough about my man crushes. Uh, what else? 2010. Pretty much, I've been yeah, I've been single uh, throughout 2010, and I'm not really looking uh, for a relationship. I think it would just complicate thing. It would complicate things, and I'm happy. You know, I'm happy doing me. You know, living living a single life. I had some flings here and there. I got a side chick that I'm happy with. So, you know, it's it's, it's pretty good. You know, I'm I'm happy with my life and the direction that it's going, and it a lot of it is uh, owed to you guys for all the support. Like I wouldn't be where I am today without you guys. So it's uh you know it's not so bad. It's not so bad. We would have been wondering why why would happen? Hey, hey, oh, I don't know what he says in that song, but that, it sounds good. So so yeah, that's about it. This will be the end of the video for serious this time. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later today. Bye.